Hey, where's my lobster? Where is my lobster? No one cares about your lobster. Your lobster is, that is, I don't know what to say. Guys, Gleiser Contest win here today. And today we're coming back at you for another video today. And this is more of like um, a like idea video of what they should do to Miles Morales in Marvel Contest of Champions. Because as you already know, the character Miles Morales is not in Marvel Contest of Champions. They make him look like a OG Spider-Man clone. And he's not really useful in the game at all. For nothing. So basically, Kabam is missing out on a couple things for Miles Morales in this game. Um, for Miles Morales in Marble Contest of Champions, sorry. So, like, basically, I'm going to list a couple things that they're missing out on for, for Miles Morales in the game. And, like, a couple things that could actually make him okay and standard. Not, like, trash and swept on and all that stuff. So let's talk about it. They need to add on Miles Morales to make him a little better is like um, his invisibility, like an invisibility ability in Marvel Contest of Champions because basically Miles Morales is a champion that like, well, should be a champion in this game that has like the invisible, an ability to go invisible. Like in my opinion, what they should do is if like someone awakens Miles Morales for the first um probably like five seconds or a couple seconds the fight starts, he goes and invis he's like invisible for the first a couple seconds when you awaken him, but like or either have a pre fight ability like when he's down to like probably fifty percent health or lower, he he has a five percent chance of switching to invisibility mode and yeah, that's basically why they should um, add the invisibility node for Miles Morales so that he could um, be a little bit more useful and like probably not take much hits. Like so far, if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, the only champion that has the invisibility ability is um, Invisible Woman, of course. But like, in my opinion, Miles Morales should have it too. Because, like, in the comics and in the movies, he can turn invisible. And in the games, in other games, other games, he has the invisibility ability on. So, that's why I say one thing that they need to add in Marvel Contest, Mar Marvel Contest of Champions for Miles Morales is the invisibility. Okay, what I mean by, um upgrade his venom blast is that like he should have some type of special ability with the venom blast like once it's activated because you already know in the special three you kind of see him use his venom blast in the special three in my opinion um like the damage should increase once he throws the venom blast and not like um have the same damage like i get it his theories could like raise up his damage sometimes and like he could actually hit hard with his theories well not uh, no 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 i take that back but like i get it that like he kind of has theories in him but like in my opinion like once he hits his venom blast his attack goes up a little bit for like a couple seconds in my opinion like i mean that would make him a little useful like that would make it a little useful for like attack and like that would, in my opinion that would probably um give the champion a little bit more justice in the game in Marvel Contest of Champions cuz basically like one thing they lack on Miles Morales is attack and like they don't really have much utility for him but like this is a utility they should add and like make him like good for some content in the game so like that's why I say that upgrading the Venom Blast is one one thing they should do is raise up his attack a little bit more because for us, the players who like playing with Miles Morales, it would be pretty useful because um, 
like his theories well not with the theories and stuff but like it's gonna make like a difference like it's like similar to spider gwen how she has like high attack when you're playing with her and like like, she has, like, all these types of abilities that make her, like, useful when they, like, when she got buffed. Like, I say do kind of the same thing to Miles Morales, but, like, not make her similar to Spider-Gwen. Like, make Miles Morales, like, a little bit, a little bit like the one in the comics. Like, I say they gotta capitalize on that and, like he could be pretty useful for some stuff. Like, maybe Miles Morales could be a replacement for Spider-Gwen. Like, let's say you don't have a five or six-star Spider-Gwen and you pull a four, I mean, a five or six-star Miles Morales. He could be a pretty, he could be a replacement for Spider-Gwen, like when you're doing variant or any, like, content you're on or event quests or whatever like i say miles morales should have decent attack similar like almost similar to spider gwen so that like just in case if people who don't have spider gwen on their roster as like like no one and they just have like miles morales then i say that that should be a replacement like let's just face it let's put miles morales as a replacement like Spider first heroes need a, like have been getting a little bit more justice time from time to time like Spider Gwen and like now it's time for Miles to shine. So like if you guys like what I said in this video, I would want you to like like the video, subscribe, also turn on those notifications and like if we get to 50 subscribers I would be really delightful. And of course, I'm going to have to throw a special video for that. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. You know, I still came here for my tacos. You realize that? I mean, not tacos, but you know what I mean? Oh.